you so much for joining me today for another video. If you are new to my channel, I appreciate you being here. I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour. I've uh, already done the base, or covered the base with white, um, because it took me a while to do it because it is a one foot by three foot canvas. So, it takes a little while to, <laughs> to, to cover it. So, I've already gone ahead and laid my base coat. What I'm gonna be using today is this beautiful bright aqua green. This is an iridescent gold mixed with an old gold. And I'm using them in this order. Permanent red violet, bronze, and this is a plum color that I made. Uh, let's see, I put together some deep magenta, um, bronze, and a little bit of Payne's gray. It is just such a really, really pretty color. So I need to pop the air bubbles in it though. And this is just titanium white by Amsterdam. So anyway, I'm gonna look, go ahead and lay my colors down. I'm gonna start with this green, bright aqua green. There we go. And I'm gonna do it this way. And I'm not doing it really close to the edge because if I did it real close, it would start to fall off. So I leave myself a little bit of room. And I'm gonna use the gold. Like I said, this is iridescent gold and old gold mixed. I didn't get, <laughs> not a very straight line. Didn't get it on top of each other. Maybe I ought to come back and do that again. There we go. <laughs> All right, this is that permanent red violet. Got a big bubble at the end. Look. There we go. Pretty colors. What I'm doing is when I close it, I do this, and that way it just doesn't get any little crusties on the end. Here's the bronze. So pretty. And then this beautiful plum color. Like I said, I just made it and I think it's so pretty. And it does have a little bit of bronze in it. It may look a little purple, which obviously plum, it's got <clears throat> a purple tint to it, but I think it's gonna dry a little differently. Okay, I'm gonna pop the air bubbles in my colors. And I did get a couple of little drops of paint. I don't think it'll matter because the way I'm gonna blow it out, but if it does, I can always clean it up in just a minute. All right, I'm gonna use my small hair dryer and I'm gonna blow this out. Ooh, I love the colors. Very pretty. Love the color combination. It is so pretty. That green in there makes it pop. All right, I'm gonna blow this over here. There we 
Here we go. Much better. I really like this color combination. It is pretty. I do have some areas I want to blow. I don't think that I can reach it um, and film at the same time. So, I'm going to do a little bit of blowing and then I'll bring you down for a close-up. The colors are amazing and there's beautiful lacing and details. Okay, here's the overall painting. It's hard to get in one shot, so <laughs> sorry, it's so big. Here are the details. It's got some beautiful lacing and cells. The colors are amazing. I love this color combination. The gold and the bronze, that bright green, magenta and plum. I think it's one of my new favorite color combinations. It's just gorgeous. Almost looks like the Northern Lights right there. But I love how there's like these really dark areas. And then these beautiful, beautiful light petals right next to it. It just turned out very, very pretty. This is probably my favorite part. I just love that. Just the deep, rich colors right there. And the cell reaction that I got on this corner is amazing. So yeah, I think it turned out very pretty. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And as always, you have a great day. Until next time, bye.